Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a great evening. And today we're back for our morning twin flame soulmate and separation energy check. If you're not familiar with this, I do these live. And if you do make it to this live uh, and you would like to request a card, uh, please put your name in the chat along with your uh, partner's name or initial in the chat and uh, we'll pick a card once the energy reading is done. Um, I do these all live, uh, so uh, all I ask is that you follow and like uh, my channels. So with that, let's get it right into the read. Uh, today, first energy card is look inside yourself. Right, so today's energy is that of healing, of self-inspection. Examine what is causing you to feel this way, right? So a lot of people might be having some emotions come through. Uh, that's the twin flame right now. That's the energy that is between the connection. And so let's see what shadows are being worked on today. So if we look at what is the shadows of the divine masculine, and remember, as I always say, divine masculine is an energy. It is not a gender. So you may have a woman that's divine masculine. You may have a man. So we have two cards right out of the gate. Yes, it's too late. And thank you for leaving me. And then one fell on the floor. I hope you're happy, right? So that introspection seems to be happening on the Divine Masculine as well. Because if you look at these cards, these are all cards of, you know, feeling sorry, right? It's too late, right? Because, hey, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't make a move. I hope you're happy because, you know, they want nothing but happiness for you. And that's a lot of times why they left, because they were too toxic. And the thank you for leaving. Why, why are they thanking you for leaving? Because they knew they were only going to disappoint you in the end, right? They knew that that was going to cause issues. And so that's where their head space is right now. Let's take a look at what's going on in the, uh, the divine feminine's head space at this point. And let's see what she's processing. So let's get some messages from her. What is going on with the divine feminine at this moment in time? What messages does she want to tell the Divine Masculine? So her headspace. Okay. And she's saying, everyone deserves love, self-respect, and self-love are necessary foundations for a healthy relationship. Right? So she's also looking into that, that self-love, that introspection. So as you can see, we're getting the synchronicity between those messages and and our initial message, right? Look inside yourself. Everybody's right now introspecting to see what's what's going on. So let's get some messages from our divine masculines in separation. What do they want to say to their divine feminines? So let's pull a few cards. All right, divine masculines, what do you want to say to the divine feminines for this collective I'm channeling this morning? And just remember, not all reads are for you or your story. Take what resonates. The rest is for somebody else, and it's not yours. I have multiple readings during the day, so you may resonate with something different. So we got a bunch of cards from the Divine Masculine. He's pretty chatty today, or she. It says, attached, I don't want to be with you, but I can't let you go, right? They're still inside their head. Interference, my friends and family discourage me from this connection, right? So they're getting a lot of pressure, and they've always had a lot of pressure from their friends and family unconditional, but they still always will love you. They're saying that I never think of you at all anymore, and you and I know that's not true. You can feel my thoughts and emotions if they're your own, right? They're saying that right now. They know they're connected. I don't trust you and or our connection, and they don't trust you because they don't trust themselves right now. And I still keep track of you from afar. So you can see that they, they're trying to tell themselves that they're disconnected, that they don't feel anything, that you're not necessary. But guess what? Uh, it sure seems to be hitting them in the face. So let's get another uh, round of messages uh, from our Divine Masculines. What other messages do you want to give to the Divine Feminines? And let's see what messages we get. Okay, get one.
praying, right? So they're probably sitting there in their head praying, hey, help me to find a way to come back uh, while still saving face. That's what I'm feeling and hearing. And I miss you, right? <laughs> Again, they're, they're, they're on both sides of their head right now. The heart and the head are fighting. Uh, we'll get one more set of messages. And 555 right now. So it's a big change coming through. Let's see what that message is. Three cards right away. Destiny is taking us down different paths. Our story isn't over. Right? So the different paths are, you know, that they're healing and so are you. But the story is not over yet. And just in case uh, you thought otherwise, here's your confirmation. Twin Flame. Right? This is a Twin Flame uh, connection we're channeling right now. So let's see what love advice we can get right now with that. What is the love connection? And right away, boundaries, right? You guys should be in their place of boundaries looking for the proper way to uh, respond uh, that's not hurtful, but at the same time protecting yourself. And that's where I feel both twins are right now. And let's look at any love messages or recommendations. Let's see what the love energy is. One, just pop right out. See if we get any more. Okay, we got two. Okay, so we'll start with keep an open mind. Right? And so that's telling you is that, you know, hey, they may come in, but if they do come in, they may be different than what you remember. And past life relationship. Right? This is a past life relationship. I'm sure you're aware of that already because the soul connection is usually so deep. So let's take a look now at uh, some guidance from your higher self. What is the higher self for divine feminines? What is that guidance for you? What does your higher self want you to know today? Okay, your higher self is saying, live in this world as a dreamer create your future paradise, right? And so that's trying to tell you, lean into your creativity, right? Dream the, the life you want, dream the relationship you want, dream the way you are meant to be treated. And as you dream that, as you visualize it, as you embody it, that's going to become your reality because we are creating our own reality. Uh, whether we like it or not, our misery is our own doing. Let's get a card from the angels. Uh, see if they want to give us any guidance in this situation, any guidance from the angels in this situation. Two cards popped out. Recovery. So it means something Something is going to change. And how are you going to recover? It's through compromise. right? And so what the angels are saying is, yeah, you can, you can recover this connection. But the way you're going to recover it is by compromising, meaning that both egos are going to have to, you know, take a back seat. And you're going to have to, Use your creativity, use your uh, divine intuition to realize that each one of you has done something wrong and it's time to forgive each other. And let's see if we can get a timing on this. If you are making that recovery and that compromise, let's see if they want to give us timing. Usually they just get snarky and right away we get three. I'm not going to take three time cards. I will only accept one. So give me one client card. Timing for this connection, February. Right? It's not that far away. You know, we're halfway through the through the year. It's about a year from now, a little over a year from now. And with that, that is my morning energy reading. If this did resonate with you, um, please like, share, follow, put some comments in. Let me know that it resonated. And, and again, if you catch me on the live, don't be shy. Pop your name inside of the comment field. I don't charge for pulling a card or two. Uh, it's your bonus for uh, actually showing up and watching a reading live because I don't schedule these things. I come on when I come on. And with that, I say have a great day and we'll be back for our mid midday energy check.